Hello, I'll resume talking about portal layout. Uh, now I'll introduce you to some configuration options for the, uh, the portal layout. The first one is collapsible. This uh, gives the user the ability to expand and collapse a panel by clicking on uh, the toggle uh, tool. Collapsed means uh, that the collapsible uh, panel uh, will start collapsed when it's rendered. Title collapse means that wherever the user uh, clicks, uh, the panel will expand and collapse. Uh, so uh, the user uh, can uh, click on the header or the toggle uh, uh, tool. And the final one is uh, split. It makes uh, the region uh, resizable uh, by clicking and dragging the splitter bar between the regions. So let's start using uh, these configuration options on our uh, panels here. I'll make the west and east panels uh, collapsible and the south are uh, uh, res resizable. <coughs> the south. Now, as you see, they are collapsed, collapsible now, and this is resizable, so I can click and drag the bar between the regions. Now, when I click here, it doesn't collapse. So, I can do this by the uh, title collapse uh, configuration option. So, so now I can click wherever I want. Now, let's make the west, the east uh, panel collapsed when it's uh, rendered. So, as you see, it's collapsed. Note that the center panel or the center region is essential for the portal layout. So you have to assign a, a, an item as a center because if there's no item is assigned as center it won't work 
it won't work the portal layout won't work so the center is essential and we can uh, gives gives it no width or height because it automatically consumes the uh, space left over from other uh, components so that's it